Hi again, welcome to the Release and Laravel series. This is the second video. If you have not watched the first video, um, I advise you go back to the first video to watch um, how different methods of installing um, PHP Redis um, and the upside and downside, and um, also how to install the Redis and clients on your system. If you are yet subscribed to this channel, please do so I can receive updates on videos like this when I release them. So um, in this second video, we'll be discussing the different Redis data type that we have available and then I'll be showing you how to like, um, how to work on the um, Redis um, CLI. So um, if you notice, I'm discussing this directly from my blog. I'm showing you like from my blog, um, no cost for alarm. I'm just trying to guide myself so I'll be on track and then um, Able to point out the important things to me. So the first data type that I'll be discussing, really is actually have um, different data types, um, which are strings, list sets, sorted sets, ashes. Ashes are just like objects. They are very interesting. And then bitmaps and hyperlogs. The only one we will not be discussing here is um, bitmaps and hyperlogs. You can do some research about them. So the first um, one we'll be discussing is a um, string. And the most basic data type available in Redis is a um, string. Right, it really stores all of everything actually stores that string anyway. So even in list, it is a list of string. In hash map is an object that has strings. In sets, it's like um, another collection of strings. Everything has been string stored as string, so it's easy to um, have things like um, JPEG image stored, and um, in a Redis data store, serialized objects stored, just because um, it's just going to be regarded as string. So um, for the first time. Uh, Data type add on to your Redis and um, CLI. Um, this is how we got here. So this CLI, right? So, now let me check. Do I have any existing keys? No. Keys? No, I do not. So that's good. Fresh data store. Excuse me. So um, for string, let's um. Now this is like very very useful in things like say we want to track the number of times a user logged into the application. So this is the key users one login. So your key could be structured in any way that you want it to be, but this is like very kind of verbose. This is like users with ID one logins, and then I can have it say zero initial time. So if you get users one logins zero right um you can run other commands like every time a user logs into the application you want to implement the login which is like um, you can do this no comments, um, users one login right so that's one it's now one so if i run get is a one login another thing you can also run is to increment by so say you want to increment it by a number of time so you can run increment by two so as a result that's when you can get three so it's very straightforward and uh, basic now so the next data type we're discussing is um list so um list is just a list of strings sorted by insertion order where item can either be appended to the start of the list or to the end of the list right so uh, larval mixes of this data type to store jobs like um, on queue, so um, if you notice um, when when you um, dispatch a job, it goes to the queue. Once once you dispatch a job, you can try this out. Once you dispatch a job, once it goes to the queue, maybe on your local machine before before running PHP at is an um, queue queue listing. Just log into your Redis CLI and run something like um, keys like this. You will see you would see. The um, the key of um, holding only your jobs there, like list of jobs there. If you actually just like check check them out, you see the list of all your jobs staying there. So it's just going to like push the job to the end, like it's going to run something like right push, push the job to the end of the queue, and then you should do something like um, um you should pick from the from the beginning of the of the list to 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 start executing the job. So um, let's make an example. Now, um, right push. 
So even if the key doesn't exist, once you do this, it creates, it creates the key. If it exists, just push to exit the existing key. So let's say we have um, jobs, right? So and there's um, job one, and then there's job two, right? There's job three, right? So one thing to notice is if you are having if you have if you are going to make a string as the value under the space, say you want to do the job many many, you want to quote it like this. So that's it. So if I run uh, range list range, the key is jobs starts zero like like little zero to one it picks. The first and the second one. We want to like pick everything zero to minus one. Like this is very very useful. We are trying to maybe like select like the first five jobs, or say you want to run a pagination and you want to pass the start and the end. It's very very like useful. So now see it, is, it, re it actually returns whatever you you enter in the order that you entered it. So now I could do left push key is jobs. And then uh, let's put them um, in job zero. So it's five now. So if I do L range zero to minus one, see there is job zero at the beginning now. Right. So there are actually different commands you can you can run on the on this. So if you add on to to see different commands available, just check the release um, release of official documentation. Right, it goes to register to Ohio. So commands are available, right? You can click then check for lists. Right, see, there is L pop. You can actually pop. You can pick. So in our case, let me just make the example. If I do L pop and jobs, right? In, in the case of the queue again, I'm talking about, you could do like L pop, the first one, right? Jobs. Right, job zero, pick star first. I could do right pop, which is a um, mouth pop. Right, there's um, L, L, L rem, like to remove elements from list of sets. There, there are quite a lot of things. You want to trim a set to a specified range, right? There, you can, there are several things. You should just come to the official documentation of release to like explore the examples and how to explore to see how all this works. So, next one we'll be looking at is um, sets. Sets are very, very beautiful data store actually. So, set are another collection of string. Everything is like string, string in um, Redis, if you notice. It's, it's possible to hard remove tests for existence of member in the sets. They do not allow repeated items. And when you an item, they do not return item in the same order. So, unlike um, List items are returned in the same order that they entered. See job zero, one, two, three, like that. You can always be sure you get them in the same order. But if you are going to use sets, sets to not return item in the same order. But then the fact that they can only take unique items are very, very like useful, right? So think of um, a movie like um, Netflix. Netflix, for, for example, each movie has tags. Right? There is horror, there is sky fi there is um, comedy, there is dark, right? There's psychology. So if for for each particular um, movie, you can set the tags. Even if you set multiple tags, you can be sure that it's only one tag. One that the tag will all be unique. So let's let's make that example. And for sets also, um, you can actually find an uh, intersection between two sets, union between two sets, cardinality of the set. So this is like very useful. For instance, if you have um, like apart from Netflix again, and then you are trying to look for it can be used for functionality for if you are searching a particular video, you can look at the similarity between those videos, like um, the tags that they share. They are trying to look at intersection, the tags that they do not share, like maybe that's like useful. If you open like a video, video, and then on that listed on that, you have like a list of similar watch, you know, Netflix does that. It gives you similar watch, similar to this video. Like you can use things like finding tags, Tags of that video to look for tags that are related to it and make it so enough talking. Let's look at this. So, um, for that, let's add so we use member, um, again, moving 
one tax or dark comedy right movies to tax something or let's just say it's a sky film comedy and um, drama yeah like that's drama so um to see to see the members your own as members movies one dogs list oh sorry about that dogs now you see does not return them in the order you entered there is comedy there is dark there is horror do the same thing for movies two tags Oh, movies S tags were in time instead of two. Well, we still go with that. With S tags, it returns drama, comedy, and sky fairy. Right? Doesn't doesn't return the order that you entered. Let's enter another one again. S tag. Let's say two movies. One tags. Let's let's add them. Um, let's also add sky fighting right? So let's move as movies. One touch, right? See, Scarfa is in that we just entered it now, and in case of list, it puts it to the end or the first part, depending on what command we use. But right now, see, it doesn't like return the order they were entered. So, um, let's find the union between the two S union between movies one touch and movies. S tags. So see, we have the union between all these tags. If we find the intersection, the center. See, this is what they share together. They share both comedy and sky fire together. So there are other commands that are available too. So you, if you need to check, you can always like um, add on to uh, you know to the documentation to see there is um. If you want to check there is srem to remove there is there are several commands for you to know so um the next one which is like um, very very interesting i find very interesting is um release ashes so release ashes are like they are ash map release ashes are maps between string fields and string values again string fields string values everything are strings stored in strings so you are perfect data type to represent objects so this is why i love the ash, ash map and then Instagram actually heavily uses this to store um, data for for each images. Like all of your images on Instagram are actually like really stored in this. Like a lot of them, like millions of them. So um, say if you have like a user now, you want to represent the user or in a chat. Like if you have been in a chat application, I actually did one. Messages between two users can be can be stored as an um, hash map. So um, like a particular message as a particular chart has a message as um, the user ID as the timestamp. It can actually be stored as an um, ash map. So um, let's let's look into that. So um, ashes. So um, H. You can you can use H sets to set just a value like for a particular key for a value. But to set multiple value at once, you can just use H multiple sets. H M sets like H multiple sets. So let's say messages one that's the right let me see actually the reason why i did this chat one message the reason why i use that so i'll just go that's the reason why why i use this and that's because it will help in explaining what that set so here, here it is so you have each chat one like first chat that has been sent now in this case you see there is each chat one the next one will be HR2. So in like a real real life example, you could use something like a key. You could set a key like um, chat ID like that. And then every time, every time a new chat is being sent between two users, or anytime a chat being sent on your application, you increment the ID. You call the increment by. So you know, so in this case, for the chat ID one, there is a message hello, right? And then user ID that sent it is um, one, right? So 
let's do the second one. Let's say Zagreus. 